Drivers on Interstate 10 near downtown Mobile are often frustrated by traffic backups caused by 18 wheelers going in and out of the container terminal. It's not unusual to see the backups on the Virginia Street ramps with trucks sometimes lined up on I-10 too. WKRG News 5's Jeremy Jones joins us live at the back entrance to the container terminal to explain this problem, Jeremy. Yeah, Pina Roseanne, a lot of drivers come and use this back entrance because they say the main entrance is always backed up. And the drivers I spoke with say that this is not only a safety concern, but it's also affecting their paychecks. It's unsafe, very unsafe. That's how some truck drivers are feeling after dealing with issues getting in and out of the container terminal. Truck driver Ronald Bell says it's a frequent issue that's causing congestion on the interstate from the Virginia Street exit. Bell also says the congestion has caused some accidents, making him feel unsafe getting in and out of the terminal at times. It's like coming off of I-10 and you're looking in your mirror and you got four wheelers come behind and they want to get off of Virginia Street and they, you know, so they'll shoot around you and then they'll see the whole long line and then they got to try to get back in. When the pork is back, backed up on Interstate 10 eastbound in the westbound lane, I mean, it's a... Uh, hassle because you got to park on the side of the interstate. I mean, they be out there for hours at a time. Another driver, Eddie Simmons, says it's a big issue not only because of the traffic, but also because some of the drivers are losing money. Yes, we lose money. We don't get paid. You know, we don't deliver the load. We're not getting paid. So it's not like we're getting paid by the hour. We reached out to the Alabama Port Authority about this problem, and a spokesperson told me that the issue of drivers not being able to get in and out of the port efficiently is caused by the terminal operators. It's operated by a company called APM Terminal. So why is it that this port can't seem to get that little glitch out of getting us jammed up, getting us bagged up, us trucks out here, that's making four wheelers unsafe as well as us unsafe? I, I think the city need to get with the port and, and go back to why the drivers park on the interstate because it's a hassle. Now, I did reach out to APM Terminal about this situation, and a spokesperson over the phone told me no comment. Reporting live in Mobile, Jeremy Jones, WKRG News 5.